agenda. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, public forum, nobody signed up for that. Consent agenda. We'll make the motion to approve the consent agenda. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. <clears throat> um, it was suggested at the last meeting that we have a Sunshine Law training request. David contacted him. And we got a message that they will be mm -hmm. in St. John County at the BFW Hall. Uh, I got the date, the, the date, the exact yes. date, time came later. Um, so BFW Hall is going to be um, April 21st at 6.30 p.m. And that's the BFW Hall here in St. John County. Who was that? Uh, 6.30 p.m. The BFW, you said? Yes. Yeah, but that's the that's yeah, the soonest thing to do it. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's so that time of year for the employees bonuses. Typically, mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, it's um, two point five days of um, employees gross pay, and that's been set by the employee manual which says if you have not had your sick time that will be converted to the end of the year. Um, only one employee gets any sick time at all in a few hours. Um, also includes $25 Walmart gift card. That's going to be what we do each and every year. So I make a motion that we uh, approve the consent agenda and I thought you said that was one person. 
I said that. I'm well, sorry. Well, when we say one person, we mean one individual's policy. Family. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. right. Correct. Correct. Versus the city's. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Seven. I just wanted oh, to understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were talking about the insurance. Okay. I I don't know why he has a different return. I mean, we have no idea of what it was called just for him. It's never been shown to us. We don't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? He had a policy of his own. I don't know what his own is. We've never seen a piece of paper set anywhere. We just take what he wouldn't have. We have to take his word for it, which I'm not saying mine, but it's not right. What we offer for one city employee, they should all take that same insurance. Now, our insurance went up one dollar for you know on that dollar something now we're gonna hundred fifty something dollars no we're not gonna do that and and it's important still I think you have to take orange we know what the back is on the special of the That's my recommendation to you. Yes. Okay. Me and uh, the city clerk went over this today because I had discussed with him. You we know the ordinance that regulates the police department. And it states in there that he has to, uh, he's not, one states that he's not liable for the employee benefits that's in our benefit package, and the other one says that he has to be on the same insurance policy as the rest of everybody else, okay? So, I agree with Clyde. I think that he would have to carry the insurance that we carry for all city employees. Right. And that he's not a special case. Now, in the past, okay, and I hate bringing up the past, but the past we were always told that it was uh, uh, in his contract that we cover his wife in the, for the police department. But in nowhere, in no writing anywhere can we find that, okay? So, uh, I recommend that uh, he, uh, Accept the policy that the city gives, and uh, uh, we'll sign him up for it. Gloria, is that the same? No, I was just going to say what he just said. The only person we should take care of is I understand there is one employee that chose to go to a different plan and pays for it themselves. And if that's the case, then by all means, pay for it yourself, but not out of the city funds. Right. So. You know, if um, an officer, if you know, officer Becker wants to do this, but the rest, um, I still think that paying the whole thing, each of you know, for each employee, is a little bit much. If they went out in the other world, they would not have. I mean, I, they would not have. You know, you have to pay something on your income. <coughs> Uh, most companies and they're in for profit. We're not. This is not. A, this is a city. This is not a profit business. And uh, so I, I think that, you know, uh, personally, I'd like to see it change to where a portion of it is paid by the employee as well to save money. This is taxpayers' money. You know, it's, it's not just free stuff coming in. And it's not something that we can go out and sell a product and bring profit in so that we can give bonuses, so that we can give things out. Now, you know, kind of back on the bonus thing, I don't mind a $25 gift card, but I don't think the whole what, 25 hours, whatever that is. That's maybe a chance to say that. But, um, I think that they just, we just need to, those are little places that we can save the taxpayers' money, we can save the city money. So that's kind of what I say. If, if, you know, so how do we go about just having officers well, back we're gonna have decide. to, uh, uh, what I want to say, make um, a motion. Okay. Um, I can get him on our insurance, even though it's past the like enrollment deadline, because there would be this would be considered a change. He's exempted right now, currently, because he has his own insurance. And I have to prove that to them to get him the exemption. If he no longer has his own insurance, then that would quantify a change. He could get it, you know, at any time during the year. Like I got my insurance when it was past the deadline as well, because it was a change. Um, another idea that if he insists on keeping, you know, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, you know, perhaps because of the provider and the doctors, then instead of forcing him onto our policy, 
we, you know, it's just suggested that we he can keep his, but we will pay only the equivalent of what we would have paid if he was on our insurance, which is four hundred twenty-two dollars fifty-six cents. He would have to make up for it. Correct. I was on pay. That was just a suggestion. I was going to move. No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. And another suggestion too is that um, do all of our city employees have their spouses included? On their no, no, no. Okay, I think that needs to be looked into also. That that you know this is. That, uh, that, that not to have his spouse included on it. That is what we just said. Yeah, we, we, we just, just said that. that. We just talked about that. <laughs> oh, did I miss that part? Oh, excuse me. Thank you. All right. Thanks so, for correcting me. You guys have all decided that you're not going to pay this increase, correct? <clears throat> okay, so I need a motion. Well, if he if he chooses to go on the city insurance, she wouldn't be covered. If he chooses to do okay. this, okay. then okay. he's going to have to pay the difference. As far correct? as the money wise, correct. If he if he gotcha. is on our insurance, yeah. Yeah, we would just pay the four twenty two. But if he insists on getting his wife, it would actually be higher than this eight hundred for employee and spouse under the city's. Missouri Consolidated is over a thousand dollars, so that would, you know, but and I, I was doing, you know, I don't want to jump in and run. No, you're fine, because you know more about the area. Right. 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 You have to pay whatever difference Over $400 something dollars, right. right. He's got to pay. He's got to pay the rest of it. Okay. So that would be 400 and whatever would have to come out of his pocket. Yeah, but it's $800. How is that going to affect the other employee that we have that pays? Their own insurance because they chose not to be on the plan. They didn't pay their own. Everybody's on the same plan. Well, what the they get a, what if they decide to get a plan on their own? The collector's on her own plan. Then we would have to do the same She's not an employee. She's an elected official. She's an elected official. Sure. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, okay so. Well, that's the first thing we have to do. Okay. Somebody needs to make a motion. Okay. I make a motion that we. Uh, have Mark either go on our insurance, and the second part of that motion is, is if he doesn't want to go on our insurance and he requires to obtain to keep his insurance, then we pay what we pay for the other employees, and he has to pay the difference. That's Sorry. our motion. That's All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay, departmental insurance or <laughs> departmental <laughs> reports. We got insurance in the back. Emergency <laughs> management report. Yeah, um, I went to an emergency um, response exercise on uh, December fourth. It was a tabletop exercise with um, uh, Missouri um, Homeland Security. Um, the scenario was a smallpox outbreak, and we, there was 15 different stages we had to go through as the you know, scenario advanced. Um, <coughs> the, uh, the, and I had brought all the city ordinances on you know, emergency ordinances. There is a state statute, there is a county ordinance, and a city ordinance that gives legal jurisdiction or legal right to quarantine somebody. However, they brought up if we quarantine somebody, we basically become their legal caretaker and have to pay their lost wages or food. And so that issue came up, what to do with medical waste came up, and really eye-opening is the meeting of the things that you know, we need to deal with in, in the emergency. And then also I had a meeting on December 9th with uh, the state uh, emergency management and, uh, and Homeland Security, and we discussed our our county's joining another region and the funding. And, it's a mess, um, <laughs> but it was very informative as well. Um, that's the two things I can do for it. Okay. Uh, water and sewer report, Dennis. Okay, bacteria are good, chlorine is good, residuals are good. Um, we had a visit from Missouri Rural Water on 18th of November 2014 at the request of Alderman Smith. The guy come out and uh, found another leak. We repaired the one leak, but there is another leak up there, and we have to uh, get to it. It was my recommendation that we wait until the weather warms up a little bit. 
above freezing anyway, because if we have to expose that pipe and leave it open, then it could uh, freeze up. And is it a bad leak or is it a... No, it's not a real bad leak. It's a service line to a residence, okay? We've been checking the chlorine residuals there and the pressure to make sure that it stays above what it's supposed to. And so far, it's been doing pretty good. But we do, I do have plans on working on it next week. I've got it all marked up there. And uh, we're ready to, to roll on it next week when it starts warming up before it gets cold again, I hope. And uh, uh, I've already talked to uh, Ron Meyer to get his chop saw in case we have to cut the streets. We don't have to go out and run Okay. So, on that, okay. Service calls. We had uh, six <coughs> service calls uh, on grinders, Antique Mall, Mr. Litterus on 3rd Street, uh, Mike on Spruce Street, Terry Lynch, and uh, the Brewers on uh, 7th Street. Uh, Got a report back from uh, DNR on lead and copper results and disinfection byproduct. All was well below the maximum contaminant level. And the persons that are involved that provided the samples were given a copy. So uh, that's uh, basically my report. Okay. I, I, I was checking on that because of that water leak up there, and I'm sure Dennis didn't have time to do that yet. But I went up today and got a printout when they read the meter um, on 12-8, and the, it, there was a five days difference between last month, they said they read it on 11-3 and 12-8, but the difference between the, the months is a 528,920 gallons. We used 955,200 the previous month, that was what was billed, 1,484,120 this month, and that's, that's a big loss. That's all going on up there. That's a big, that's a big leak. And there's also a difference of just under twenty-five hundred dollars in the bill we had to pay back to them from last month to this month. Um, Sixty-nine seventy-five is what was billed for this month. In the last month, it was forty-four million. So that's something that we, we do need to get eat. taken care of. Yeah. It's not. That's not the only thing we got going on. She doesn't know it. That's okay. She can report what she thinks, okay? Well, I can report the numbers, Mr. Bobet. Diane, you don't Mr. understand. Mr. I'm not going to argue with you. My name this is, is not the Mrs. place. Smith. All right, Mrs. Smith. Thank you. Okay, Park and Cemetery report. Uh, Park and Cemetery are fine. I mean, you know, uh, we do have a problem <laughs> with uh, people going in there and making donuts in the ground up there. So I don't know if we should park? close that gate. Yeah, I don't know if we should close that gate or, or uh, leave it open still and just increase patrols in that area or what. But there's people going up there making donuts in the grass up there. Tearing up the grass. Yeah. So maybe we do need to think about closing it. That could since be. Well, it really would hurt. Since I mean, it's going to be out at the orange report. Right. Until Frank, anyway. Just go ahead and lock it up. And if for some reason we get a beautiful day and somebody wants to use it, okay. they can contact us and we can always get it open for them. So we can't have to turn it up. Right. We don't have much. As it is, right. we can't take care of it. Gloria, did you want to say something? Just what you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would suggest that maybe we go ahead and. Well, well we had, we got we got a, a more that says that that park is open all year round. Okay, so do I need to have a motion or anything? No, or just it's just a policy change. Not really. It's open. It's just a, because if somebody wanted to go down the there, they could open. contact the city. Right. It's still open. Right. Okay. But we don't have to go north to the north of the state. Right. Okay. Right. It was just a question that yeah, I had. That's what I would, I would think. Yeah, it was a good that's question. Yeah, that's fine. It was a good question. Because it would still be considered open. You would just need to contact somebody and no, let them know exactly. that you wanted to go down there. Exactly. Okay. Okay, street department. Yeah. <laughs> we got a little center in the street. Probably don't need it. That's, uh, we got some more street signs. Then we'll put some more of them up trying to get them all. I was shocked at how many didn't pass. Oh, I know. I drive around now and I'm like, wow, I didn't realize it didn't have all of them. 
So I'm glad they brought it to our attention. Uh, David's working on a grant to try and get a demolition saw. That's what I call it. We cut like pavement and stuff. Every time we get one, we got to go to what is it, or somewhere out in there and rent it. It costs us a couple hundred dollars every time we rent it. So if we can get the grant, around $1,500 what we're trying for, to buy it from one of our own. So the cost of the rental is all of the time going there, time coming back to charge you for what you use on the blade. It's really our own equipment that we have to do with us. And that's the purpose of what they're going to have to be doing at one circle for cutting their... Actually, we don't have nothing to do that with. But if we can get this grant and get this, it'll be a good and that's all I have. Okay. Um, fire department. Okay, got anything to report this week? Well, we had one mutual aid fire call and we lost one firefighter because he's in the movie after the first of the year. And we entered for the conservation grant, got the Christmas ornaments put up. Also, uh, we got a call from Single Tank and they said uh, they had some old fire department or uh, fire truck equipment that they were going to be more or less giving out to the fire department so we went down there and picked up some stuff we got two 21 foot sections of suction hose that we lose on the tanker and that it's going to be a heck of a lot lighter than what we've got on the truck and so we got that stuff we're going to try to implement that and then also we're going to have a Santa Claus is going to be coming to the city hall on the 21st. And I'm planning on being there from 1 to 3. And then also we got a class for uh, traffic safety for emergency responders on December 15th and 16th at 6 p.m. at St. Firehouse. Do you need any donations or anything like that for Santa Claus?
Okay. Good evening. I'm Melvin Prince with the Democratic Club and the Chicago Central Committee. Uh, like I've spoken with your mayor, we're extending an invitation and David will get the email sometime tonight inviting you to a Christmas party on the 18th of December at 530 up at the old Eagles in St. Gabriel. Uh, this is right along the line from Bloomsdale and St. Gabriel have already been extended that invitation to want to make sure that you guys get it as well. And and then uh, I gave your city clerk 23 concerns and I'm glad the newspaper is not here because like I spoke with your mayor, I want to sit down and talk with the board and see what you guys think. What you can fix, what you can't fix. Uh, it will be beneficial for all of us. And then I didn't share this with you, Mayor. Uh, I want to meet with you, members of the board, and businessmen in town to see the other side of the picture so we can work on that. Because we all here together. We all live in this town, but we should all be working. Together. And the bottom line is we need to work toward the betterment of the city and not provide a whole lot of dirty on it. Because all they do is sell newspapers. And we just want to get things done. Did we have anything done on the uh, career share? Because you probably did. I talked with the county. Did we have anything involved? I think I talked with Dennis. He told me I checked with the county. We got to go. It's as soon as the pipes come in, right? They are. In the yeah. weather? Yeah. 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 So all we got is the weather, right? Because she needs to know. She has a contract standing by to do the work. But the dirt from the excavation from the county to be you just work that hat in the hall of the way. So thanks for your assistance and I look forward to talking with you. Later. <coughs> okay, does anybody else have anything else? A quick thank you. I'll let them from up there on the one. Um I've lived here over eighteen years. My house, 18 years. It's the first time I've seen Elm Street and Fifth Street sign up there. And I thank you. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but you know, that helps people find their way around. And it's nice to see that. So I'm glad that's that's been taken care of. Like I said, I apologize. I did not realize we you lived here, we go up now to the Beautiful Street. I would go to Herbal and I'm all for the old I'm glad somebody brought to her attention. Okay, anything else? On that park thing. I noticed that we're not utilizing the park to the to the best of us. We can talk to the people that had the ball games. We used to have ball games now. They are running out of space. They don't have enough space to play ball. We we should be talking with them and see if they can I'm sure people will come back down. We have an excellent ball game. So the last one, when I was, that's something to consider. Well, I struck out of it, man. That's been almost 15, 16 years. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, if, if they need a formal written letter, I can crank one out. In I think that would probably cover all the bases if you did that. And then, then they could back and say, well, you know, it's, I still haven't got anything from the city. Because that's what they kept telling me. Right. You have to have something in writing from the city. So it is. If they need it in writing, you can do it in writing. The only request they made of me is that if the request comes from the mayor, um, yes. like house was over the streets or me, myself, as clerk. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm very good friends with the, the presiding commission, Gary Nelson, and we have discussed this not only at a county commission meetings, but at the Southeast Planning Commission meetings down there, <coughs> and he's agreed. And we want to coordinate everything all at once, like what like I've been saying all along. We're waiting on King Williams, we're waiting on, because we're ready. We got the materials, we're ready to go. But until all that's coordinated, so that we come back three or four different times to try to do one, one project, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So, uh, who, well, we will the, just the decision send them a letter stating that we're on board with this and we need to coordinate it so that we have the they have the written request from us, okay? That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Right? Yeah. Just look at this an open letter without uh -huh. a specific day saying thank you for your yes. agreement. Okay? Okay. Does anybody else have anything? Okay, I need a motion. I'd like to vote for you. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm.